So this video, I am going to do some introduction to arithmetic sequences. So this is just some general information, and this video is going to be a little bit different from my others because I'm not writing. Um, I have a sheet that I had already typed out, so I'm really more going to talk you through it, um, and then instead of being in my handwriting, it's typed out. So, But that idea is still the same. All right, so first thing. An arithmetic sequence. So I know you're probably thinking I'm saying it incorrectly, but it's an adjective. So it is pronounced arithmetic. Arithmetic. So arithmetic sequence. So I don't know if you want to write the pronunciation just to help you out if you need to remember how to say it. All right, here's what it is. An arithmetic sequence is a um, pattern of repeated addition or subtraction. So it is a pattern of numbers, but it's the pattern is that we are adding or subtracting the same number over and over. So to get from one term to the next is where the pattern is. So an arithmetic sequence is a group of numbers that follow a pattern of repeated addition or subtraction. All right, so for example, this is an arithmetic sequence. So if we have the numbers 3, 8, 13, 18, dot, 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 this is an arithmetic sequence. And I know that because the pattern that's happening between each number is that I'm adding 5. So that fits our definition. So this would be an arithmetic sequence. So what you're going to be doing is identifying whether a sequence is arithmetic or not. And the not, there's lots and lots of sequences out there. So this is just one type of sequence. So it doesn't mean it isn't a sequence, and it doesn't mean that there isn't a pattern. It's just not an arithmetic sequence or an arithmetic pattern. All right, here's another example. So this one, 34, 31, 28, 25, dot, dot, dot. <clears throat> so this time, the pattern is adding negative 3, which you can say is the same as subtracting 3. All right, this is just mentioning, kind of reiterating. I don't know that you necessarily need to write this down, but there are lots of sequences out there. So we're only working with arithmetic ones right now doesn't mean that it's not another kind of sequence. So right now we're just concentrating on sequences that are arithmetic. All right, so we're gonna look at some terminology, notation. There are specific variables that we use when we deal with arithmetic sequences. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure you get these down because this is gonna be important um, to know what each of these variables represent once we get into the equations of it. So D is the common difference. So it makes sense that it's a D. The difference is the number that is the pattern. So up here, the pattern was adding 5 each time, so we would say D equals 5. This one, the pattern was subtracting 3 each time, so we would say D is negative 3. So the D is the actual number that we're adding or subtracting each time. All right. Next up. Let's see if I can get this so it isn't too overwhelming. This is a subscript. And that means that it's written lower. It's not multiplication. It's not an exponent. It's just helping to identify that A1 is the first term of the sequence. So if I go back up here, 34 is the first term of the sequence, and 3 is the first term in the sequence. So those would be listed as A2. Sorry, A1. A2 represents the second term of the sequence. So I think you can understand A3 would represent the third term of the sequence. And I need to kind of remember that this is already typed out and you guys are writing. 
So I'll try to slow down a little bit. But don't um, forget that you can pause the video if you need to. A4 would represent the fourth term of the sequence. So again, that's not multiplication, it's not an exponent, it's a subscript, so it's gonna be like below. So a n, or a sub n, that's the nth term of the sequence, which is kind of a weird expression. But the deal is, is that n is the term number of the sequence. So the number that we're writing as the subscript is where the number is in the sequence. So it's the term number in the sequence. So if we see A72, that tells me that that's the 72nd term in the sequence. So the N is representing that whatever term of the sequence. So we call it the nth term um, because again, it could be any number that we're working on. It doesn't even matter. This is just gonna go on infinitely. So it will just keep going and going and going. All right, next up. This is what is happening in our sequence. So to put variables with this. So we have our first term. We add the common difference. That gives us the second term. Then we add the common difference and we get the third term. We add the common difference to that. That gives us the fourth term. And then we're just gonna continue on and on and on. So this is how the, in variables, how the sequence looks. So this is the first term, we add the D, get the second term. Add D to that, we get the third term. Add D to that, we get the fourth term, and so on. All right, so in this example, I'm just gonna put that there again so it's not too overwhelming. So if we have the sequence four, seven, 10, 13. So first off, yes, this is an arithmetic sequence. And I know that it's an arithmetic sequence because there's a pattern of adding three each time. The pattern of adding three each time is what the value of D is. So that's our common difference. So the difference between each term is three. All right, so in this sequence, A1 is the four, sorry, A1 is four. The second term is seven, so A2 is seven. The third term is 10, so A3 is 10. And then the fourth term is 13, which would be A13. So questions that you might be asked is, give the next three terms in this sequence. So that would mean you need to add three to get 16. Add three to that, you get 19. Add three to that, you get 22. So what you'll be doing is determining whether a function is an arithmetic, sorry, whether a sequence is an arithmetic sequence or not, and then finding a few more additional terms by using the common difference. So that's just the introduction, and we're going to build off of that over the next few days.